Decollage, liftoff. Decollage, liftoff from a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself. James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. Against a backdrop of gloomy COVID news over Christmas, the astronomy community received a wonderful gift. On December the 25th, the James Webb Space Telescope launched aboard an Ariane 5 rocket from the European spaceport in French Guyana at 9.20 a.m. local time. Separation Webb Space Telescope, go Webb! Described as the successor to Hubble, the $10 billion mission is set to revolutionise astronomy. JWST, as it is abbreviated, will probe the atmospheres of exoplanets to explore worlds beyond our solar system. It will also peer deep into the far reaches of space, looking beyond the limits of the Hubble telescope. We might see some of the earliest galaxies to form after the Big Bang and get a better understanding of how the universe evolved to the present day. The mission involves scientists and engineers at NASA, the European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency. Since launch, a series of nail-biting technical operations have been configuring the telescope in space. One key milestone was to deploy a tennis court-sized shield to protect the telescope's instruments from the sun's heat. Then came the process of unfurling the telescope's primary mirror system the gold-coated structure has a whopping 6.5 metre diameter comprising 18 individual mirror segments. It was folded to fit inside the nose cone of the launch rocket. Smaller secondary and tertiary mirrors will help to remove the telescope's astigmatism and to flatten its focal plane. Whereas Hubble was in Earth's orbit, JWST will be 1.5 million kilometres away captured within the L2 Lagrange point. This orbit lets the telescope stay in line with the Earth as it moves around the Sun. JWST is so far away because its instruments operate at extremely low temperatures. The telescope is searching for faint light from the early universe using high-resolution near and mid-infrared cameras. Once orbit insertion is completed at the end of January, the scientific instruments will take several more weeks to cool down to stable temperatures. The following five months will see optics aligned and instruments calibrated before the mission can finally begin its science operations in mid-2022. Spiralling costs had led the JWST project to the brink of cancellation on more than one occasion. But if the mission now goes as planned, and financing squabbles will surely fade into insignificance. JWST has the potential to transform our view of the universe in the same way that Hubble did. Find out more about the James Webb Space Telescope in the January issue of Physics World and on the Physics World website. <laughs>